good morning students let us continue with the explanation of the lesson intellectual rubbish by bertrand russell in the previous video we saw how many matters however are less easily brought to the test of experience we even saw the most savage controversies are those uh, about matters as to which there is no good evidence or proof okay now let us see what we have to uh, learn here a good way of ridding yourself of certain kinds of dogmatism is to become aware of opinions held in social circles different from your own when i was young i lived much outside my own country in france germany italy and the united states i found this very profitable in diminishing the intensity of insecular prejudice if you cannot travel seek out people with whom you disagree and read a newspaper belonging to a party that is not yours if the people and the newspaper seem mad perverse and wicked remind yourself that you seem so to them in this opinion both parties may be right but they cannot both be wrong this reflection should generate a certain caution now children uh, from this paragraph what do we see we uh, learn that author he uh, traveled to many countries he got the opportunity and he went in france germany italy and united states and this was profitable uh, for him it proved profitable for what for ridding himself to certain kinds of dogmatism ridding means free of something unwanted that what he did not want there are certain customs that are followed by people uh, which are foolish customs means uh, it doesn't uh, have, there is no reason in following them but still we follow it so uh, uh, certain kinds of dogmatism what is dogmatism dogmatism is insisting on the truth of one's opinion without evidence the person doesn't have any kind of evidence or proof but um, uh, instead of for just having a specific reason scientific reason or any kind of strong base we just keep on following certain traditions or customs without even noticing whether how much they are really fruitful to us in our daily life so uh, for him to uh, travel to various countries it proved him a lot it helped him a lot it was profitable means helpful or useful to the uh, author to the writer uh, now uh, children if uh, you cannot travel or seek out people with whom you disagree see whenever we go to uh, various uh, places we meet people we try to understand their uh, lifestyle their customs their traditions we come to know so many things there are so many things that are, that are important in life and so many customs or traditions are such that we feel that oh uh, is it really helpful for us so this is what and the clarity of mind the clarity that we have in our mind Uh, uh it again becomes it becomes more clear i'll say and um uh, by which we can accept certain things and we can ignore certain things or just uh, 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 drop certain customs or traditions and we can start a new uh, approach towards looking at other people 
many times now what happens is uh, if the people and the newspaper seem mad perverse and wicked what do you mean by uh, perverse means stubbornly opposed to and uh, disagree means to have a different opinion from somebody or something uh, not to not agree uh, so children we come to know that if we read certain newspapers that keep on telling us all good things about a particular party uh, we think in that perspective only maybe the other party is right and this is wrong it can be vice versa too so uh, by this we understand that whatever we read in the newspapers or whatever we uh, come to know about the current situation in life um, both of them cannot be uh, wrong one of them uh, must be right so this reflection should generate a certain caution what do you mean by caution caution means we need to take care great care before giving our own opinions or our own suggestions or comments on that particular uh, person or party generate means to produce or create something okay uh, now next is becoming aware of foreign customs however does not always have a beneficial effect in the 17th century when the manchus conquered china it was the custom among the chinese for the women to have small feet and among the manchus for the men to wear pigtails instead of each dropping their own foolish custom they each adopted the foolish custom of the other and the chinese continued to wear pigtails until they shook off the dominion of the uh, manchus in the revolution of 1911 children uh, here foreign means belonging to or connected with a country that is not your own a uh, custom means a way of behaving which a particular group of society has had for a long time something that a person does regularly now what is a Man manchu manchu is a member of indigenous people originally living in manchuria who formed the last imperial dynasty of china uh in 1644 it prevailed till the uh, revolution take, uh, took place in 1911 means till uh, 1912 it existed the uh, tungusic language of manchu people is also manchus now what do you mean by dominion dominion is that uh, which is mastered or ruled uh, what do you mean by revolution that is uh, revolution of 1911 revolution means in political science uh, it is fundamental and relatively sudden change in political power and political organization which occurs when the population revolts against the government typically due to pers uh, perceived oppression uh, children as i told that uh, women had small feet and men used to wear pigtails a kind of hair style just see how foolish this custom was and how painful it was for uh, women in china uh, in those days when they had to tie their feet i'll just show you a few pictures that i had um uh, taken it from the net i would like to share them see this is one where the lady she used to tie the, pit, the their feet they have to tie their feet uh, and then they uh, they uh, themselves stitch their own uh, shoes for which now can you uh, just observe how the 
फुट इट गॉट ट्विस्टेड एंड द फिंगर्स वर बिलो द फुट बिलो द पाव नाउ जस्ट सी दिस इज द नॉर्मल फुट आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू दिस इज द नॉर्मल फुट एंड द लेडी हु इज पिन पॉइंटिंग दैट इज हॉरिफिक फोटो शोन शो हाउ इट वॉज एंड इट वॉज रियली वेरी पेनफुल फॉर द फॉर देम अनाद वन जस्ट सी how they were not at all able to walk properly the ladies couldn't run properly just see the uh, shape of the normal foot and the foot that was folded forcefully and tied and then worn inside the shoes to show the small feet so and uh, this is uh, these are the pictures showing pigtail hairstyle that was uh, done by uh, the chinese uh, people